if there's anything encouraging about evil, nature always seeks the state of greatest disorganization. In all the examples of history, the evil of anarchy that fueled these atrocities consumes itself because it's impossible to sustain. The leaders of these hate-filled riots are simply examples of mob rule, with the power-hungry leaders guaranteed to stir internal dissension that will destroy them. The hate and animosity towards conservative causes violates all the core values under the permission slip of political correctness. If the liberal platform is honestly analyzed with its unattended consequences, it fully exposes the blatant racism, hypocrisy, denial of scientific logic, and discrimination. All the buried skeletons of corruption will eventually reveal themselves. It takes extreme intelligence to cover blatant deceit, as it requires a total command of living in parallel universes. It's impossible for most humans, much less an entire movement, to keep their stories straight. Justice is painfully slow, but that is life and how the constitutional republic works. That is what faith in God means, and the reason this country is founded as one nation under God. It is not under a government that exploits all our human failings to keep from being thrown out of power. These are trying times pale when compared to the depravity of governments like North Korea, China, Russia, Syria, Iraq, or Iran. The extreme suffering of those unfortunate enough to be born into these governments makes our situation a walk in the park. The United States is in the top 1% of all the people in the world regarding quality of life, security, and economic freedom. It is sad that half the population of the United States will look a gift horse in the mouth and want more of everything, usually at the expense of the other half. The perfect storm of 2020 is testing our Constitution, the rule of law, and the moral fiber of the country. Evil must exist for us to know what good is. Our only mission is to set a good example that makes the world a better place. If we don't, the unchecked evil will prevail until someone does. This is Keith Kuby wishing you the best in making the world a better place.